They are small, illegal devices that when you put them on the back of a handgun can change it basically into a mini machine gun. And as we speak, they are being sold online and also on the streets of North Texas. If you don't know, they are called conversion switches or auto sears. IT reporter Brian knew to explain why in just the past few months, there's actually been a big increase in handgun switches. The head of the ATF here in Dallas told me the explosion of these switches in the past six months is the scariest thing he's seen in his career here in North Texas. And that was even before ATF made this discovery. The ATF invited us back into its evidence room and showed us a 3D printer they recently confiscated. They say this printer was being used to make switches. This is a game changer. No longer do criminals need to try and buy these illegal devices off websites from overseas. Instead, they can find them being advertised locally on social media for as little as $100. Uh, right now, I have, I'm fully confident that a lot of this stuff is being made right here locally in the DFW area with individuals with 3D printers. Um, we've, we've been uh, told that you can make one of these in less than 20 minutes. A, a little switch that you put on the back of your handgun that's going to make it a full auto machine gun in, in 20 minutes. You had a gun that had a device at the back of it. All right, I want to know where you got that from and who gave it to you. Tonight at 10, we'll take you inside a jailhouse interview so you can hear from a Grand Prairie man who was caught in Arlington with a Glock switch. Plus, we'll tell you the role you can play to help law enforcement get a handle on this problem. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.